Hello once again everyone, I am playing with Moe and this is the new digs. Um, yeah, so we've finally made it into, you know, an actual place. Um, it's been about a couple of months now. Um, and I know I didn't make an update video since the, the last video. Um, but I figured that, you know, since April Fool's was coming around, by the way, happy April Fool's Day. Um, I figured instead of doing, you know, my normal standard, you know, April Fool's silliness, um, I'd finally do that uh, long-awaited update. So I spent, like, the last, like, two or three weeks realizing that, oh, God, April Fool's is coming up now, and uh, I'm on the clock. And I was... I kept sitting there going, you know, what am I going to do for this year's April Fools? You know, what, like what can I come up with this time? What what can I do? Do I do a do I do a um a, a regular April Fools? Do I do like something wacky? Do I do like um, you know, a a twist sort of thing, you know, where everybody's expecting it to be an April Fools and then it's not. Um and and then here I am, um it's about 2 a.m. on April 1st. Uh cuz you know I do everything last minute. Um and I realized that I still hadn't done that update video, which I told myself I was going to do and then never did. Um, and so I figured, you know what, let's let's do that. Let's do uh, the update video for April Fool's and tell everybody that, you know, everything's going okay. Because um, they are. Um, so, you know, my uh, my mom and I got in here and, um, you know, it's it's been, like I said, a couple of months. Uh, January 31st, we actually moved in here. So, yeah, it's, it's been almost exactly two months. Um, it's uh, it's pretty nice here. Um, you know, the, the people here are, are super nice, super friendly. Um, and, you know, Mittens is doing okay and the doggy is doing okay. And so everybody's okay. Um... It's just, you know, it's, it, it has been a super long journey. Um, I felt like in the past year, I aged about five years um, because there was just so much going on and I am somebody who stresses and is anxious about everything. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, starting from, you know, the, the car accident and then the aftermath of it um, and, you know, the, the rehabbing and the lawsuit and the, um, you know, having to take time off work. Um, it, it, I mean, it affected me at work, um, you know, as well as having to um, move my uh, work schedule around that. Um, you know, all, all the rehabbing and, and, and going to doctors and all that stuff. Um, you know, and I had to take time off work. And, and like I said, it affected me at work. There, it, it got to the point where some sometimes um, I would just get like these really awful dizzy spells. Um, especially if I moved, you know, this side of my body because the injury is right here. Um, if I moved this too much or, you know, if I lifted too much or if I put too much strain on it, um, eventually it would just start to really, like, aggravate and really nag. Um, and, and like I said, I, it, 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 I, I literally had to get, like, a chair and, and sit down at work multiple times. Um, luckily, I was in a position where I can do that, where I can just sit and, you know, and, and take care of what I need to. Um, but, um, I mean, it, it really affected me. It affected me mentally, for sure. Um, and, you know, on top of that, then, um, you know, having money problems and then, you know, the eventual eviction, um, the well-documented eviction, I should say. Um, yeah, that was, uh, that was a toll. Um, you know, so, I mean, not only are we not living where we thought we were going to be right now, but we're also in a completely different state right now. And uh, it was a long journey, and it was rough. Um, you know, it, it we were just we, we kept having to go from hotel to hotel, and and trying to find places that you know would accept pets, and um, you know, and then at one point, you know, being out um, at a campsite, you know, essentially like in the wilderness almost. Um, so that was yeah, it it was just a whole huge adventure. Um, it just. 
it felt like it took forever, and it felt it also felt like it went by in a blur. Um, I definitely stressed over the fact that now now I keep thinking, what was I doing in you know July 2023? You know what what was it that I was doing where I could have went and you know checked the the rent and you know and and looked and saw that hey we owe you know july's rent and you know now you know we owe like this late fee or whatever um and i just you know i'm somebody who has like a ton of regrets i i regret everything um even when i do stuff well i i regret like you know how come i couldn't do that better how come i couldn't think of that sooner um so you know now it, it's gotten to the point where you know i i keep thinking hey, if I had actually paid attention in July and looked and saw why um, my my mom essentially told me, hey, wow, look at how much money I still have left in my account. And, you know, just thought maybe, you know, that was a little odd and, you know, went to go check on the website. I, I would have seen that, hey, we owed the rent and, you know, we could have done something about it and we could have avoided this whole situation. Um, but it didn't turn out that way. So, you know, it it's... Like I said, you know, it just, it, it really affects me, um, and, um, you know, I just keep stressing out about every little thing, um, and, you know, and then eventually, you know, that here's one thing I'll stress about, and then here's another, and then here's another, and here's another, and here's another, and here's another, and then, you know, it gets to the point where I, I can't even think, um, because it's just so piled up to a point where, um, I don't know what to do, um, but luckily we made it through. And, um, you know, we're just trying to figure out what to do next, I guess. Um, as obnoxious as I did find it in Florida, um, you know, that was my entire life there. Um, and I don't know anybody here. Um, I mean, you know, we have, like, some family up here, but, I mean, I really don't know them. Um, so, you know, all, all of my... Uh, my all my friends and, you know, all, all the places where I used to live and all the places where I used to go and, and hang out and stuff, that, that's all back in Florida. And, you know, I can't do that anymore. Um, but, um, I mean, it was lucky that I left my job in August, which actually ended up being a good thing, because if I still had been employed at Publix while this whole eviction thing was going on, it would have been incredibly bad. Um for me at work, you know, mentally. Um, but it also would have been a real pain because, you know, then we had to, you know, figure out what we were going to do, like, in a hurry. And, uh, you know, I would have had my work schedule on top of that. You know, again, I would have had to juggle that. And that would not have been fun. You know, we kept going from different hotels to different hotels to different hotels. And, you know, we were just kind of, like, bouncing all over the place. Like, we were kind of close to where we used to live, but, I mean... You know, the first hotel that we were at was like a 20, 25 minute drive away, um, you know, like from our, our old place. And then the second hotel was like maybe like a 10 or 15 minute drive away. I mean, you know, it, it, it doesn't sound like that much. But I mean, you know, when you keep going back and forth constantly, um, you know, to pick up our stuff and, and, you know, make sure we didn't leave anything behind, which, you know, that's another thing that I regret, Um me personally, I, I didn't leave behind anything that I, um, you know, any, any of like my personal effects, um, all came with me, but my mom didn't really like, she couldn't do it in a hurry. Um, and so she had to leave a lot of stuff behind. Um, and so, you know, and like, we're talking about like furniture and stuff, like we literally couldn't take because it was just way too heavy. We didn't get a moving company or anything. We just put all of our stuff in storage. Um, and so, you know, the, we had, like, a, a lot of, like, furniture and, like, personal effects and stuff. Um, like, all of, our, all of our Christmas stuff is gone. Um, we didn't take any of that with us. Um, you know, like, we had, like, some outdoor furniture and stuff like that. Didn't take any of that. Um, you know, she had, like, plants and, and you know, like, and, and posters and, and pictures and, um, you know kitchen stuff and you know all that stuff and and you know we had to buy a bunch of these new things or a bunch of these things back to replace the old um but i mean yeah again i, I just i feel like you know again it goes back to if i would have just paid attention in july uh you know probably none of this would have happened but it did um 
So, yeah, that's where my mind is right now at uh, about 2.30 a.m. in the morning. Um, yeah, so it's, um, it, it's, it's been a ride. Um, not a fun one. Um, I mean, it, it is pretty here. You know, I, I do enjoy seeing new sites, but, um, you know, it's just being uprooted out of nowhere. It's just, it was really bad. Um, so, um, but I mean, you know, we're, we're still getting settled in here and, um, you know, my mom is, you know, she's, um, getting a doctor, you know, she's got to get a new, like, uh, primary doctor. I got one as well. You know, I, I actually, I went to my first appointment, um, back in February and I'm, going to go to the next one, um, pretty soon, actually, a follow-up visit, you know, get an annual checkup, and, you know, all that stuff, um, so, you know, we're just kind of settling in, but, um, you know, I, I, it's weird, you know, I, before all of this stuff happened, I felt like I was very confident in where I was, and where I wanted to go, and, like, what I wanted to do, like, in the future, and, like, now, like, all of that is just, like, pfft gone um and so i have no idea what's gonna happen um so i think this is like you know i i thought like things were uncertain when we moved out of our our home for 18 years you know before we moved into the old apartment i thought things were uncertain then and like it it's like way way more uncertain now um like this is i think this is a point in my life where i i am incredibly uncertain also i thought uh, i thought the cat was there <laughs> Um, so yeah, that's, uh, that's gonna be it for this update. Um, you know, I got my, my stuff set up here in the background. I got my little Kalos, uh, poster back up here, my little dream catcher, and this is the, uh, whoa, where am I? This is the, uh, 20 year, uh, uh, anniversary of Pokemon. Ow. And that was me hitting the desk. Um, okay. So I think that's a good point to wrap it up. Um, yeah. Oh, and I got a new shirt here, because, uh, I'm a big fan of Space Ghost, just in case anybody didn't know. So yeah, that's it. Um, my, uh, ongoing stuff is still ongoing. You know, it's, it's, as it's been going on for the past 47 years, um, you know, the Kirby's, uh, Epic Yarn and the D Kong, er, Donkey Kong Country 2, uh, co-op playthrough with Dak, that's still happening, um, you know, just, it, it'll just have to happen when it happens, I guess, um, so yeah, that's, that's gonna be it for me, I'm gonna sign out now, and say, uh, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.